Hey, hey, ape fans. Here we are at the actual filming locations at Malibu Creek State Park, California. And we have our good friend, Max Cervantes, right hey over guys. here. Hey, guys. Mark, who else do we have? We have Dean Preston from Simeon Scrolls Fanzine with us behind the camera right now. Hey, hey, Dean. <laughs> <laughs> and we're now going to go and visit the actual shooting locations for Planet of the Apes. And we brought our toys with us. Okay, let's go. All right, so Max, is this one of the locations? No. We've been out here yet. for how long? We're not there yet. <laughs> not so are these the trash cans from Planet of the Apes right here? Is well, that what that is? <laughs> <laughs> All but, right. But what we are seeing, this is the beautiful Malibu Creek, which starts up in the hills and eventually dumps down into the Pacific Ocean. So this is the beautiful Malibu Creek. So hence the term Malibu Creek. <laughs> Go, Galen, go. Galen, are we almost there? No, not yet. Hey guys, we almost there yet? <laughs> not yet. How about now? There's some gorilla poop. <laughs> so we could be there. What what is that? Gorilla, gorilla poop. Oh. They look more like Urko's doing. <laughs> hey guys, are these the scarecrows? <laughs> is, that, is that them? Yeah, they just did some CGI on them to get them yeah. look the way they look. Uh, all right then. <laughs> See, we're going to have to take the long way around because we can't get across the river right now. Because the stream, the... the, the uh, what so, now? The so does that mean two more hours? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they had cars bringing them out <laughs> for the shooting. Is that Cornelius and Zira's house? No, but that, that <laughs> house has been there since the 30s. That's the caretaker's home. It's now used for the uh, rangers because th there's there's like four or five rangers who are here all the time and they stay and live in that those cabins. It was partly damaged in the recent fires though. Oh, actually, I'm a docent here. Oh, okay, good. No rangers live there. Uh, not anymore? That's the visitor center. Oh, okay. Because back in the day, I first started coming here when I was only 16 back in 76 okay. and the rangers Ten used years to stay ago there. So, yeah. 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 yeah, no, we had we actually had a ranger in here momentarily. Uh -huh. He was only in there for about a month. Uh -huh. He was there long enough to turn on the sprinkler system when the fire came oh, through. That's, that's the only reason, the reason why it saved. Yeah. It stayed. All right, uh, Max, how much further? It's still further. Uh. It takes a while to eat a crocodile. <laughs> oh takes God. a while to eat a crocodile. What? No, this is, we're talking to apes, not crocodiles. Not crocodile, chocodile! What are you talking about? <laughs> Mark? Max, you guys delirious? Yes! Alright. We're delirious for eight. Okay, now it all comes around. Hey, Dean! Are you stuck? Do you need any help? Bye, Dean, we're leaving you there! <laughs> so, Max, where are we now? Okay, we... Turn the camera around and point that way. This is the location where Caesar, in battle, brought all the apes and humans together oh, yeah. to have oh. council. Was right here. Wow! Look they at that. They put the chairs up on top of that rock. This rock right over here. Yeah, that's where the Caesar's chair sat for the big council scene. Okay. Oh wow. But unfortunately, with the passing of time, you have to remember, we're standing in what's really mostly a riverbed area. And it changes over the years because of time. And like right now, from the winter storms, all that water that's rushing by that almost prevents us from getting here. Now, another thing you can't see is also the top of this rock. That's where the human cages were. Now, later, when we go up there, you'll be able to see because when you go watch the film again, and they shoot from the, the, the human in cages. In Planet of the Apes. In Planet of the Apes, they shoot from there downward. You recognize this and these rock formations, but that's where the human cages were, up on top of that rock formation. Because okay. also when you get up there, when you look at that way, the, the big hills, the big mountains right here behind us, you'll recognize them as being the mountains that are behind Cornelius and Zira when they do their famous little hidden kiss bit before Dr. Zaius shows up. But next, we're gonna go see the rock pools, which are just right over here where the astronauts went skinny dipping. 
And you're, you said you're going to recreate that, No, right? I am too fat and it's too cold <laughs> for me to go skinny dipping. Okay, people, this is also another scene from the original first Planet of the Apes. After the astronauts realize their clothing and equipment has been stolen, they come running out from behind this big boulder right here. Come on, Mark. All right, Mark, action. They come running down behind that path, the rock and then down towards this pathway. But of course, there's a lot more foliage. Come on, Mark, then. emotion. Emotion, Mark. There's some damn dirty apes chasing you. <laughs> or actually, damn dirty humans. Don't fall. Okay, don't kill yourself. All right, you know what? I wasn't believing that. <laughs> you gotta nobody, take off your clothes. Nobody was believing that. All right, so this is the location of the famous rock pool scene where the astronauts go skinny dipping. And the water level's really high right now because of the recent storms you've had here in Southern California. So that's why the water is so much taller. Oh. And it's really murky brown right now because of all the silt from the heavily you know flowing what? water. I see that, I yeah. see it. Because they went swimming all the way to the far side, but the water wasn't so deep and the pool wasn't so big. Uh -huh. When I was here last year, uh, the roots of this tree were showing. You can see they're completely submerged under the water right now. Okay. I definitely see the location. Yeah. And it was turned around this way, and that was the rock where Taylor had put his clothing on top of this rock, and they shot from there, shooting down so they could see the equipment there the astronauts in the background swimming, and then the hands, the mysterious hands oh. of the savages pulling the stuff off the top of the rock. Wow. The scene where the astronauts come and they see the giant waterfall flowing down the sides of the cliff, that was shot from up there. They, they, put the, they dragged a water hose all the way up to the top there and let the water come racing down there as it would then dump into the pool here, or the river, really. But yeah, and then the astronauts stood on those rocks over there jumping into the pool. All right, here we are in Ape City. This is a little part of it right over here. Oh, look at all that. Ape City burnt to the ground. We are at the location where Ape City once was. If you go back and watch the film, you'll see this little downslope of the road and this V notch. And this is where Ape City once was. And if you go back and watch the movie, you can still see that this big tree here and that little tree there are still there and they form the outer perimeters of where Ape City once was. Oh, okay. The, the city came out pretty far to like where Mark is standing. And then from here, the, the bridge that crossed the lake was right here. But even back then, there weren't all these trees. There weren't all these trees in the middle of the river. And you can see from the recent fire, we had all these trees have been burned. They've been horribly scarred. And so this was where the land bridge was that went across the lake. And where did, where did the bridge end up? On the far side of the, of the, of the, the river there. Okay. It just terminated into, into a, where the trees were. It really didn't go anywhere. And then all of them, there wasn't enough space actually for all of them to go all the way across. They probably just went part of the ways in and had to stop and then just cut, you know. Right. Did they actually build the structures right here? Yep. They, they were all built here on site. You know. What this, I was this, this looks so much smaller. Everything looks bigger on camera. <laughs> yeah. Those wide angle lenses. Uh -huh. And so now where, so right about here was where they were chasing Taylor. Yes. And this is pretty much where he was hung and said his infamous line. Yeah. Take your stinking paws off me, you damn dirty ape. Right here, you can see, see this big tree here? That's that big tree over there in the distance. Okay, that big tree there, that's this tree right here. Okay, which, which tree? Point to it on, on camera oh. here. Right. Over there, that big tree in the distance uh -huh. is this tree in the photograph. Oh, wow. See? And see the little hut just beyond the big tree? Uh -huh. That's where, that was uh, Zira and Cornelius's house in beneath. You can see right here, as I zoom in, that's the little hut where the little market was, where the fruits and clothes were being sold. That's the land bridge where Taylor went running across the top of it, okay. which was right here in the big open area. 
And then in the back, there's the ape arena, which was nestled up there oh, wow. into the V notch. That right there, that V notch area right there, uh -huh. that's where ape arena was, was Where's back that? there in the V notch. Wow. Yeah. And then again, this little tree right here that you can see right there, that tree right there is all that's left of it over there. That there? tree there is this little tree that's in the photograph. And you can see they put another building on the other side of it, on the upslope of the hill. But that's where that tree is, right there. Wow. And to, to have gotten this shot, to have gotten that shot as big and wide as it was, they had to have filmed it from the other side of the river there. Right. And then filmed, thi filmed this way to have gotten the shot, to have gotten that much of it all in one shot. Yeah. So. Well, I'm sure they had a oh, big scaffolding. A, yeah, and put it up there. Because, you know, they had built that bridge already, so they put the bridge out there. They just, all they had to do is take a t camera and a tripod out there to the other far side yeah. to have filmed it from there. But yeah, so it's kind of sad when I come here. I love coming here because I, I remember having been here when I was only 16 and the Ape Arena set piece was still there. Oh, and was it? Yeah, when I was 16 in 77, part of Ape City was still here. The Ape Arena was still up there and a couple of the small old buildings were here, but most of them were all gone. And then further up the hill, further up on the hill there, they had put plywood cutouts of smaller houses that they've just painted they're just cardboard flying plywood flats painted to look like buildings and they put them up on the tops of the hills so i'm sorry oh sorry all right um but yeah so they just put the plywood cutouts of other buildings up on the hill and then made them small to have them be port forced perspective again it's all a case of forced perspective mm -hmm. so is that where the concrete is who knows i mean feel free to go look I don't know what you might what find. I know? <laughs> well, anywhere in this valley is where you might find some concrete remains that might be part of what was the city. <laughs> oh, he uh, found a piece. I found a piece. There, he found a piece. There's a piece of. Oh my God! It's even got the paint on it still. Yeah. What? What? Where did you? Find Debs. It? There's a ton of it over here. All right, Dean, show us. Show us where you found it, Dean. There's a ton of it. You can't miss it. <laughs> okay, I gotta take a piece home this time. All right. Dibs, dibs at all of it. <laughs> what this stuff here? Yeah, cause look, it's got the ch it's got the chicken wire still in it. Yeah. This would have come down with the right. I right? like his piece because you can actually see the paint on the other side. The sprayed on speckled paint is on it still. All right, this, Mark. This, Richard, this will hey, I'll look. You're looking for something that's got the yeah, chicken yeah. wire in it. Yeah. This has come down with the rain. This would never have been on earth if it hadn't been raining that much. Wow. Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to go with that. Hey, Mark, Seriously. get a get a piece and we'll give it away on our next giveaway. Okay. Wow. Let's, let's, let's take it all. Yeah, or nice leave some for some of the other apes. Yeah. There we go. Oh, my goodness. Richard, look at this. What? What are you looking at? It's right here in the stream bed. It's been washed down off the mountainside from the rain. This is the piece I'm taking. Whoa, this is the perfect time to be here. Yeah, because the rain washed it down. Oh my goodness. This is all from the arena. Yeah, from the ape arena. Look at that. Oh. Aren't we all lucky? It even has the paint on it right there. It even has the yellowish paint on it. It's the sprayed foam. <gasps> oh. All right, I get the next piece. This is all the sprayed foam right here. Look. Need a piece of the foam. Some of the sprayed foam all from right. the outside of the houses and buildings. What we're looking at now, we're on the roadway. We just left Ape City and we're up kind of high, but that flat plain area down there in the distance, that's where the human cages were. And you can clearly see the service road that goes up to it, which is how they must have brought in all the equipment up there to weld those cages in place. I saw those cages in person myself back in 1977. And then when I came back here a few years later in like the 80s, they were gone. The government had already torn them out because that was in the transition between when Fox still owned the land and they were filming here, the TV show. And then after that ended 
and Fox sold the land to the government. The government returned it to as close to natural as possible. All right, Max, what location? Okay, are we, we are now? presently on top of the big mesa. This is where the human cages were in the first film. And if you look back over there in the scene where we then see Zira and Cornelius kissing, <laughs> it, you see those mountains in the background clearly. You wow. see that particular shape notch, and that's how I knew this was the location where uh, the human cages were. So they would have been standing right, right here? No, when they did the kiss shot, they were actually further over here. She met Cornelius. And look, the steps are still here. Yeah. <gasps> let's, let's take one of the rocks. No, how are you going to carry it? Dean, you need to carry one of those rocks for us, okay? Whoa, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to travel down these steps. Oh, look at this. Oh, <laughs> that's right. Walking down the steps where Cornelius oops, had gone up and down. And now I'll walk back up. You went up, up. These are pretty steep steps. And imagine doing that in chip shoes. Uh. They put up a fake little building right there. And this is where they kiss, right here. All right. And that's where the cages were. And this wow. is where the cage was. Wow. But yeah. This is something. And what was it that what was it the ranger said they now call this point? Planet of the Apes Rock. Yeah. So they call this spot here. They call that rock there Planet of the Apes Rock. And down there, see the rushing water. Down there in the distance, that's where the a rock pool was where the astronauts went swimming. Well, it's a really close by location. Yeah, and then at the bottom of this big rock that we saw earlier, that's where Caesar and Lisa and Cornelius had their meeting down there with all the other apes and humans, was at the bottom oh, of this rock. At the other side. On the other oh. side, that where we were earlier, right. it's at the bottom of this rock. And then from over this side is where Dr. Zaius and the gorilla general or whatever he was with him came around this way and right. met met them and they followed around this way as they were talking and the humans are jumping around and such and they kept talking this way and in the background taylor was in the background scribbling he's scribbling i can write camera stops just about here looking that way again always looking towards the mountains and it was here where they have their conversation between zaius cornelius and zira and it was somewhere around in this area, but somewhere over in this area is where he would have written it. Right. Yep. And then, and then after they left, Zaius looks down. He sees it, doesn't let anybody else see it, and then he scribbles it out right there. Because in the in the confusion with the fight and Taylor being dragged off by the guards, this is where it would have happened roughly. Can't be exact, but I know this is the right location roughly. If you track everything, you know, from following the camera shots, looking at the shape of the mountains here, this is pretty much the spot, you know. Okay, gotcha. And then it was Zayas who went, uh, 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 I scribbled all this out right over here. <laughs> there you go. Got to knock it out of focus. Now, how about over here was this? Did we ever see this? This wall over here. Yeah, this is, this is built for a reason. Look at this. What it was built for, I don't know. Surprising, this is a, a fun right. location here too. Yeah, but I don't know what this was built for. Could have been done for some other film even before AIDS. You know, huh. they, they shot a lot of stuff at 20th here out on the out on the ranch. Maybe Hello Dolly. <laughs> All right, this is where they shot Battle for the Planet of the Apes. Record. This is where the big battle took place between the mutants and the apes. <laughs> That's not an ape, the damn dirty human. This was Ape City right inside there. From battle. From battle of the planet of the apes. Now it's just a burnt out Growing forest. California oak trees. Didn't we see this in Wizard of Oz? <laughs>
Those were apple trees. You know, Max, go over there and see if the trees grab you. No, it's a big <laughs> scary tree. He's all burned up. He's probably not liking humans at this point because they started the fire. But one great battle once took place. No, fight like apes! <laughs> Now, where did Aldo push Bobby Porter out of a tree? Is this the tree? Oh gosh, I don't. I'm that. I'm not <laughs> quite like sure about that specific. It could be. Bobby! Why don't we just call up Bobby on the phone and ask him? That'll settle it. Hey, the tree isn't in the park. It was on a soundstage at 20th Century Fox. Happy hunting. All right, we've been here for six hours at Malibu Creek State Park, finding locations, recording our next Talking Apes episode. Want to thank everyone for watching these videos. Are we tired, guys? Oh, heck yeah, that was a long hike. Saw some great locations, and Max, thank okay. you once again for showing us all of You're those very sites. Welcome. That, You're very welcome. That we should have and, seen. And I came dressed appropriately for the hike, so. Nice, 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 nice. All right, everyone. And so did I. Look at the back of this one. That's what we've been doing. It says, out there doing it. That's what we were. You should focus in on the most important part, this right here. There yes. we go. Oh, there we go. All right, everyone, thank you for watching. Now remember, go Abe! Go Abe! Go Abe!